This week, the United States Coast Guard carefully transported debris from the ill-fated Titan submersible ashore, granting us a fleeting glimpse before it was taken away for thorough analysis. Taking charge of the investigation, the Coast Guard is collaborating with an international array of agencies, including the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board, the Canadian Transportation Safety Board, the French Marine Casualties Investigation Board, and the United Kingdom Marine Accident Investigation Branch. In a press release issued on June 30th, the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board expressed its firm commitment to uncovering the causes behind this tragic event and providing safety recommendations to prevent a recurrence in the future. A comprehensive report will be released within the next 12 to 24 months. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and in the case of these debris images, that saying couldn't be more true. While these visual glimpses alone cannot provide definitive answers, they offer a tantalizing glimpse into the possible factors contributing to this outcome and why some of the fragments are so large. As we await the unfolding of the official investigation, let us explore together the compelling clues that emerge from this visual evidence. Here are three of the most intriguing clues we could find. They'll leave you with your mind and eyes wide open. Do you have any other questions for me, Counselor? In the design of the Titan, the engineers made a crucial decision to incorporate two titanium rings into the carbon fiber hull. When we closely examine the photos, a striking revelation emerges. The titanium rings appear to have remained intact, devoid of any significant carbon fiber attachment, and this holds immense importance. These images indicate that the titanium components are unlikely to be the cause of the accident, as they were not significantly affected during the event. As Dr. Jasper Graham Jones, a respected associate professor in mechanical and marine engineering at Plymouth University, aptly pointed out, it shows that titanium was the right material to use. This perspective is widely shared among numerous other experts. They argue that the titanium elements of the submarine displayed remarkable resilience, successfully withstanding the force of the implosion, while the more susceptible carbon fiber parts likely bore the brunt of the damage, possibly breaking into minuscule fragments. In yet another photograph, our attention is drawn to a circular portion of the Titan, presumed to be the dome-shaped front section. As we examine this photo, a fascinating detail emerges. The porthole appears empty, except for a conspicuous red cable used for lifting. While Graham Jones raised the possibility that the salvage operation necessitated the removal of the acrylic viewport to accommodate the red cable, he deemed this scenario unlikely. According to him, there were alternative methods to lift the piece without compromising the integrity of the evidence. It is worth mentioning that concerns about OceanGate's choice of front view window had been raised even before the tragic incident occurred. In court documents from August 2018, David Lockridge, the former director of marine operations at OceanGate, alleged that the company had installed a front viewport certified to withstand depths of only around 4,200 feet, 1,300 meters. This depth rating fell significantly short of the required 12,500 feet, 3,800 meters, for exploring the wreckage of the Titanic. However, it should be acknowledged that it remains unclear whether any design changes were implemented between 2018 and the final mission. Nonetheless, it is evident that concerns regarding the suitability of the viewport existed from the very inception of the project, and the viewport was not attached to the lifted front dome. What remains unknown at this stage is whether the window failed first or if another component failed before the implosion, resulting in the window being blown out. In two captivating photos that have garnered significant attention, we are introduced to distinct components of the Titan submersible, the outer shell, and the rear operating bay. The first photo portrays a towering panel-like piece, commanding attention as it is guided ashore by two men. The second photo unveils a similarly sized element, adorned with antennas, cords, and wires, concealed beneath a white tarp. These substantial fragments have left many individuals wondering how such sizable remnants of the submarine managed to survive a catastrophic implosion. To uncover the answer, we must delve into the design of the Titan. The pressurized chamber that housed the explorers consisted of a pill-shaped hull. 
This hull was crafted from an experimental 5-inch thick carbon fiber design. The pressure chamber or hull resides beneath a white fiberglass layer, occupying only the front portion of the vessel that is visible from the outside. The rear section, situated outside the pressure vessel, is occupied by the operating bay, housing vital equipment, batteries, and cables. The white outer shell, which envelops the entire structure, is composed of plexiglass and does not form part of the pressure vessel itself. The first photo captured a segment of this outer shell, while the second photo offered a glimpse of a fragment from the operating bay. It is a common misconception to believe that the submersible we see from the outside represents the entirety of the pressurized vessel or hull. This misconception gives rise to the astonishment at discovering such large fragments among the debris. The reality is that since these components were not located within the pressurized chamber, they were not subjected to the direct inward compressive forces of the implosion. Allow me a brief pause to tell you. If you want to know more about the huge forces generated during an underwater implosion, we recommend watching our video titled, What Happens to Your Body When a Submarine Implodes? You can find the link in the description section below or on the end screen of this video. Also, if you like this video, it would be a great help to us if you would press like and leave us a comment. Thank you. Let's return to our discussion. The images capturing the remnants of the Titan hold a revealing power, not in what they show, but rather in what they do not. As Dr. Graham Jones keenly observes, there is a crucial absence within the footage, the notable absence of significant sections of the carbon fiber hull. While the investigators recovered substantial fragments of the ship's external covering, positioned above the carbon fiber hull, they seem to have found little of the interior hull itself. Of course, it remains plausible that these components elude visibility in the images and footage. Nonetheless, according to Graham Jones, this absence suggests a probable failure of the composite carbon fiber hull. In his assessment, if both the window and the hull had failed, an implosion would have ensued. However, if the initial point of failure were the front viewport, the pressure on the hull would have been slightly less intense. Consequently, larger carbon fiber pieces from the hull would likely be present. The absence of substantial carbon fiber slabs aligns with the hypothesis of hull failure. Graham Jones puts forth the possibility that repeated trips might have induced stress on the carbon fiber, leading to small cracks that ultimately gave way. This explanation, may also help explain how the Titan managed to travel unharmed in the past. Although the publicly available images and their discernible details remain limited at present, a collective understanding appears to be emerging, highlighting two potential culprits behind this mishap. Yet I find myself in agreement with Ed Cassano, the CEO of Pelagic Research Services, the company responsible for the discovery and recovery operation of the submersible. He asserted a straightforward yet unforgivable explanation for the disaster. Simply the submersible was pushed beyond its depth rate. The tragic fate of the Titan and its courageous crew serves as a solemn reminder of the inherent risks entailed in venturing into the world's ultimate frontier. This poignant event underscores an undeniable truth. The sea, with its mesmerizing beauty and enigmatic allure, commands our utmost reverence and caution. As investigators tirelessly work to piece together the puzzle of this heart-wrenching incident, the entire world watches intently, eager to glean the profound lessons it imparts. Through it all, the indomitable spirit of curiosity and exploration persists, undeterred by the formidable challenges posed by the ocean's depths. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button now and join our community. By subscribing, you'll help us create and share even more powerful stories that will brighten our day and broaden our perspectives. Your simple action can make a big difference to our mission. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Subscribe today. Also, we recommend you to watch another of our videos in which we tackle another captivating story. Bright Talk Style, one revelation at a time. The links are here on this screen and in the description below.